here with a repeat offender on the ah! Yeah. This is Susie Kaufman. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Stay close because it's a, it's a short angle. So, Susie, what's going on with you these days? Well, I um, love your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder yeah. where I got it. Yeah, it's a Ruin Who shirt. We yeah. have them for sale on ruinwho.com. You're very well at the store, At the store, at the show. And uh, you look, it suits you so well. So, um, what's going on with you? Well, I'm still reeling from Bruce coming over. Yes, we're told. Yes, you knew, you knew Bruce when you were like, what, 17? 17, yeah, and then 27, and then 28, and then 18, and then 20. And then, and then, then 2000 when you bitch with Button? And then 2006 to 2008 when he used to call him all the time. Ah! Ah! What'd you call him? I called him on his cell phone number. Really? Yeah. He gave it to you, or did you No, I found it. I'm not going to tell you how. Okay, don't tell us how. No. And you're also an amazing poet. Thank you. And I know. And a singer. And, and a singer, 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 too. And a singer, and a singer, and a singer. And didn't Frank Zappa offer you a contract? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's correct. What happened? Um, I turned him down. How'd you meet Frank Zappa? To the Bleaker Bob. At Bleaker Bob? To Bleaker Bob. I met Michael Bloomfield at Bleaker Bob. And then we got the family with Bleaker Bob to Michael Bloomfield, and then Michael Bloomfield. I mean, wanted me to record with him, and then Bleaker Bob turned me on to Frank Zappa. And you said no to Frank Zappa? Yeah, because he didn't want me to do the blues. Oh, what did he want you to do? I don't know! Wow. Wow. Because you would never know with Frank, because he was so quirky. He was quirky, but I saw a 10 song audition with a standing ovation, and it wasn't all blues, so I guess he figured I could have any kind of backup. I guess he was sick of Dr. B. Park. Captain B. Clark. Yeah. Um, I, I saw Frank Zappa perform once, and it was pretty amazing. I, 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 I had friends that, like, loved him so yeah. much, and I, I had no real opinion at the time, but then when I saw him, we were front row, and I fell madly in love with him. With Captain B. Clark Frank Zappa? Frank Zappa. Yeah, well, he would put Zappa. his hair up. He would take his hair down. He would put really? his hair up. He would That's take like his hair That's like me with the hat. I yeah. feel like I should take my hair down yeah. now. Didn't be a little Zappa. You want to do that? Yeah, now I'll play All right. Back. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm coming. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever meet Flo and Eddie? Mark Bowman? No, I didn't. Oh. So I just I met um what's his name Jean Luc Ponte though and I met oh, Paul Zappa Paul Zappa fan that took a uh, picture of me topless. Have you ever had a celery Nirvana? Oh, a celery with Nirvana. Susie. Celery with Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> celery with peanut butter. Yes, yeah, celery with cream cheese. Yeah, but not celery with Nirvana. So you gotta listen to the story. I'm gonna read you a bunch of stories. Okay. I want to hear what you wrote. Okay. And I want to know, how did you meet Bruce Springsteen? Um, I was um, off work. I used to be an ice cream scooper and at, the, at the casino at the boardwalk. And he was in a club. And I went up to him and I introduced myself. Or he introduced himself. I don't remember. But it was very hard to hear. So we went out into the... We went out into the, the um, you were 17. I was 17 and he was 17 because he's six days older than me. You know? Aww. Next year... Yeah. So we're going to have to come on during my birthday. We're going to have to come on during Bruce Springsteen's birthday to celebrate. When is that? September 23rd. And mine's the 29th of September. So one of them has to be a Wednesday. One of them has to be near a Wednesday. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to read the poetry. Okay. So you were his ice cream. What flavor did he like? He liked sex. <laughs> sexy ice cream. Sexy ice cream, yeah. yeah. That's a gross flavor, though, isn't it? No, it's the best flavor in the world. You're right, you're right. All right, boringness. <laughs> I want to turn on every man in the street. I want to explore every person I meet. I want to extend my tongue into your ear. I want to unravel your navel, my dear. I want to make love to the boys who are gay. I want to make love to the records I play. I want to make love to the posters I see. I want all the posters to make love to me. Oh. I want to make up to the man and the woman. I want to make up to the art from cartoon. I want to make up one evening and noon. I want to make up very soon. That was the ice cream. Oh That's the God. ice cream that I had three months ago. Yeah. Okay, Mama White of the Blue Horizon. Mama is a 
good love with fire for fighting your bones are ringing your bones are shaking nowhere to turn my mom will take you and feed you cool you teach your magic and send you out to preach the message mistress of the lost generation searching for a mission mama for a bill will fill the bill hallelujah I can hear the mic grows and groaning and mama dad hell on the riding in that midnight sleigh a jingling away with them with the holy groaning crows pulling in the name of the Lord holding that midnight car up above and the stars around making sure that them mama's delights gets into the hands of the little grubbies of the world Oh, Mama Mud, Mama side, little Susie of the Everywhere. Oh, Mama Mud, Mama, you can have my cocaine t shirt and my two front teeth. Just send me someone's love. Little Susie thrust her ostrich neck out of her cocaine teeth, took her eyeballs out of the refrigerator, and peered through windows and doors down wells and sewers and other holes in the ground, spelling me, Mama, Mama, Sabbath, the old house, my words have taken me. In broad desperation, she tied her toothbrush and a hat up and a polka dot handkerchief and hung it on a great American hobo stick. She jumped down from the rough in the chimney where she'd been all black night, keeping flare side vigil for mom and low off bare dressed in the cruise's plains. Into the spaces to search for fruit and plains. Sorry, guys. Till she comes to a camp in the mud with fires of brightly and bells are ringing and bones are shaking. In that dazzling glory camp are hers and darkies as a dance and them circuits are with friends and then bitsy for their stone to that angel wire humming with their cloaks and daggers dangling all assembled to an erotic and mumming and a bumming cigarettes off holy ghosts. Oh, Mama Mud, Mama! cried little Susie Underwear, throwing her cocaine to her two front teeth, toothbrush, hat, and poking out a handkerchief, great American hobo stick, thrown out of elbows, and left breast at Mama's feet. Oh, Mama Mud, Mama, I gladly sacrificed all I own for just one look at paradise! cried Susie, religiously clutching her right breast. Mud, Mama, touched by the girl's obvious sincerity, religious fervor, and intensity of breast, agreed to grant the girl audience and bestow what blessings she and her infinite wisdom saw snuff. Mama will hear you out, Mama said, but not until the end of the full moon feast, till the completion of the rites of the demise of the six facts, till the sun makes the mud takes and the daisies crack up to the cracks in the cred bank. Come the new moon and the sun and the demise and the daisies and Susie. Oh, Mama, Mud, Mama, cried Susie, her right breast hanging by a string from her chest. Mama, Mud, Mama. Mud Mom adjusting her monocle to focus more clearly, her singular fire eye blazing at Susie, who sitting in awe with the magnitude of the magnitude of Mom's presence manages to utter, Oh, Mama, Mud Mama speaks. Oh, child, my child, what is it that you wish to ask of the Mud Mom and the Mud Mama? Oh, Mama, Mud Mama, whispered Susie in a tremulous trickle, I need a man to love me. Thunder struck, lightning lit, hailstones hit, glaciers warm, cyclone storm, locusts swarm, fires chilled, and above beyond the ice blue horizon, Queen Mama appeared high in the heavens, and with a shout heard around the world proclaimed, Oh child, my child, I will grant you your request, but first you must return to me in seven moons of time, with the testicles of Mick Jaded, and in a whiff, she poofed. Seven moons and on, she descended upon her as a raven, sheer blue flowing chiffon gown by Yves Laurent, hair by Kenneth, diamonds from Tiffany, and pearls from the depths of the deepest dark ocean. There she stood resplendent in all her divine brilliance, clutching in one hand the scroll of light, and in the other hand an Ostermeyer wiener. Into her glowing magic circle stepped two of every animal known on earth, representatives from the vegetable kingdom and senators from the minerals. The animals ate up the vegetables and the minerals hung around board. That's Ma- like Noah. Noah? Oh, right. Okay. Gotcha. No, I don't, but that's all right. Mama offered Susie a bite of her weenie, which Susie declined, having often heard that rat skills get ground up and such stuff. Woo! Okay, not done yet. My cousin in the Bronx knows this girl whose sister's friend cousin knows Mel Farmer of Grand Punk Railroad, mustered Susie. Very well, relish Big Mama. Nettles will do. Unenjoyed by her good fortune, Susie ran restlessly back to the orphanage to tell the girls. Mama lifted her skirts, jumped in the swamp, swam to the promised land, found herself a nice hole in the mud, crawled in, and slapped it off. That is just incredible. Awesome. Thank you. How do you talk that fast? I don't know. I listen to Lord Buckley. Wow. That's, do you tape it? Like, do you time how many words you can talk a minute? No, but that takes about five minutes, that piece. And do you know how many words are in it? I don't know. Wow, that is an art, man. Thank you. Give it up for Susie. Yeah. Yay, Susie. You want the skeleton? Sure. Do you want a cookie? No, not the answer. Afterwards. Like mother. Want a cookie? Okay. My son was running away from the cops, so I got in this car with these people, and I set three cops. 
Three. Not knowing they were LA rock stars. It's just as well. A cock by any name sucks the same. And that's the only band whose cock I sucked. Ooh. And you know who it was? Tell us. Love. 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 Cock suck love. If you're going to suck cock, you might as well suck the cock of love. That's my skeleton. All right, push the button. I think she already has. Yeah, she already has. Yeah, she's already got the button. Oh, no. A fort. <laughs> Susie, 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 when did you start writing? I don't know, when I was about seven or eight for the, the, the Amora School Safety News. Really? Really. And did you know you could write poetry then? Yes, because I wrote the limericks about crossing the street to safely and the friendly policeman. Do you remember how it went? And the crossing guard. No, I don't remember, but I have another piece to tell. Yeah? I have a letter to Bruce Springsteen because he won't take my letters and he won't take my phone calls. Yeah, you want to make one public now? I want to make it public. Who wants to hear a public letter to Bruce Springsteen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, Susie. Okay, I know this is the Bruce Springsteen's um, return to sender. Does he live there now? You live there now, but don't tell anybody, so we're not going to show this. All so right. let's open this up. But it's kind of an easy address to remember. I know, but I don't have a photographic memory. No, because it's very, very dry. It okay, anyway, we have to take anything. anything. I don't even remember where I am. I think this is a loony bin. Me neither. Where's my phone? <laughs> In the loony bin. <laughs> Do you have Bruce Sprinkle. Sprinklestein? Right, Alan, Bruce Sprinklestein? Yeah. I am so profusely sorry that I didn't let you endure. Bear Brook has followed me since. Ah, but not since I met Rui Hu and Valerie. Was since Bear Brook never really followed me, but that's because I was in the mental hospital. That's what I meant by that. Please carry through like I ask you to remove order of protection against me. It is very childish of you or Laird or whoever it was behind it. Two wrongs don't make a right, right? Love you always, Susie. P.S. Please say hello to Deborah Rosenberg from me and Casey. Oh, by the way, I've been in a hospital since 122. I want to be a rock star like you when I grow up. Love and kisses, SMK. And I have a little story on the back, because it was done creative writing class when I did. Once upon a time, there was a woman who never got into any trouble. Her name was a boy named Sue. <laughs> the end. <laughs> You are one clever girl when it comes to words. How's Thank the rock you. opera coming? It's still coming. It's still sitting there, just gathering moss. Oh. Well, you know, things take time. And a rolling stone never gathered no moss with the rock opera, so I don't have a producer. I need a producer. I had um, the publicist for Showgirls, but he went bye-bye. Well, you know, everything takes longer than you yeah, think it's yeah. going to take. You know? I know, it's taking forever. It takes forever. So do you have a website where, where people can, maybe a producer can write to you? Maybe. Yes, yeah, so should he... What, well, honey? I cannot hear you. I'll wait till I... Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's not like Bruce Springsteen now. Okay. Facebook.com slash Susie Kaplan. It's S U Z Y K A U F M A N. Good for you. Good for you. And um, and you're going to be at Tammany Hall, right, next week? Right, I'm going to be in the finale. Now she probably right. told me what I was doing, so I'm glad. Because you are a tried and true rock and roll woman. Thank you. Yeah. From two rock and roll women who are tried and true, I consider that a grand compliment. Yay, we appreciate you. One, two, three, four. Who do we appreciate more? Ruin who and Valerie? Oh, and Susie Kaufman, too. Uh, Give it up, Susie, Susie Kaufman. Woo! Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back, yes, with more fun and games on this day. That was so attractive. Self.